Hey guys, it's. I'm not used to saying it. <laughs> hey guys, it's Susuru. And Marvy G. And we are. Say what? TV. Here today at Some Men Like It Oat. Oat. Oat, oat Couture. Uh, one of our favorite yes, this favorite is one of our favorite places to shoot. Uh, Wilton Doug is so gracious to let us use this place. And uh, you guys have to come check it out one of these days. He has talked to the band. He has lots of beautiful clothing. I'm taking on two outfits today. Bad thing about me coming here is I want to shop. They don't have any room. Right, so exactly. I'm good. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're here to film Amanda Patterson. She's a this singer. Tall, gorgeous, blonde. Statuesque. Like six foot three. Yeah. Statuesque. Yeah. <laughs> she's so tall. Yeah. But she's also a model. Model. Well, she started as a model. You better work. Wicked girl. Cover girl. With that thing. Turn to the left. Hmm. Turn to the right. Hmm. Now freeze. Oh, we already froze. Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> oh, We're you so said clap your hands. Oh, I was like, clapping something clap else. Your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, here's a couple of things that she's done. Yeah. Check this out. Uh, Chair telling you that you're no girl, you're too Way tall too for this tall. shot. <laughs> yeah, we had to give her that chair. Right. No. Right. We'd right. be like this. So. What's going on? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, Amanda is very tall. <laughs> Extremely tall. Yes. yes. I get it from my dad, actually. Hi. That's, that's a that's a high fashion model. Yes. We're very lucky. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? Lots of new things, actually. Lots of new things. Tell yeah. us. Tell us um, what's up. Really exciting. I'm uh, working on a new CD right now, actually. Okay. I got two out already on iTunes, um, but taking my time with it. I got two mm -hmm. singles coming just to give people something while they're waiting. Um, possibly a video, too, in September. Ooh. I'm still working on that. Um, very excited. That song's called Pretending. You need um, any choreography? I know, right? You need choreography? Actually, I need... Uh, more acting choreography, not so much dancing, but you know the visuals in this uh, in this video are really important. Mm -hmm. It's this tug of war between a girl and a boy. Um, they're best friends, but you know they've started something, and one's really fallen deep into it. The other one's like, "Wait a minute! I care that you're my friend." And there's this back and forth tug of war kind of thing mm -hmm. I need on camera. So oh, that's very awesome. cool. I'm excited about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you need a choreographer, <laughs> or extra, you guys are awesome. That little music <laughs> video. Oh man, I. I Really excited to see it. Yes. Uh, yeah, Very excited yeah. about it. I wish yeah. I could have been there. I'm, I really wanted to. Oh, You were busy doing the big thing. Yeah. Next yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, and you were doing a big festival. Mm -hmm. um, your first indie summer fest in yep. that area. SIMF. Um, Excellent. We, we're starting it in Tampa. We're going to run our first few shows there. Very I cool. think the next one's going to be in November, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we yes. haven't selected a date yet, but yeah, basically we want to pull together cities. Um, from every state um, to support local art. So mm -hmm. for this first festival, we had Port Ritchie, Tampa, St. Petersburg, Miami, and Spring Hill. 
and um, cool. we find hosts in the area. They find all their artists, and we give them all an hour on stage mm -hmm. and oh, wow. represent their city. Um, pulling in their fan base to then support all the other cities right. coming in and basically just collaborating and pulling together for local that sounds arts. Awesome. That's great. So what has been the craziest moment with a fan? The cra your craziest fan experience? I'd have to say there's, there's a couple different ones. Um, the crazy weird ones would be online. I get some really interesting and kind of kooky messages from some fans <laughs> so every now and like then. Like what? Uh, just, you know, borderline weird whether they're just looking at how I look or if they're you know just really into my music but I've got a couple really young fans that are very obsessive any any um, any, any date request oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> any or uh, just can, can my I friend you? please be my friend can we talk <laughs> hi hi friend hi or friend. can you take pictures of your feet for me right 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 <laughs> oh this yes way. have I you gotten that of those. remember when we did Periscope <laughs> and this guy was like my wife and I are in that hotel behind us. Oh, and yeah. She just wants to kiss your feet. And we're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. um, no. That was Thanks. weird. Yeah, that was that was kind of, so that was weird. It's, it's like, it was like, it was who's, who's feet? Who's feet? <laughs> Mine or hers? <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, you don't want to yeah, touch Yeah, no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so, what is um, the favorite thing about being in this industry and what you do? I think. The fact that I can dabble into so many different fields. Um, I'm an artist from a lot of different perspectives. You know, mm -hmm. music is my, my passion and my strong suit, mm -hmm. but, you know, I'm the kind that wants to, you know, put all the outfits together, do all the directing for the music videos. Um, I even made the skirt that I wore in Say With a Kiss. Like, I really love to, to dabble into all the different. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you where'd you get that from? Yeah, yeah. I love that video. Well, it was so colorful uh -huh. and fun. Yeah. And it was crazy. I was shopping for that skirt for days and I was pulling my hair out. I couldn't mm -hmm. find what I needed. And eventually I said, you know what? It's just a tool skirt. <laughs> I'm just going to go buy the tool yeah. and the elastic and, and just wow. make it myself. And, you know, that's, that's the part that I love about it because. Mm -hmm then it's 100% original. Right. Um, you're putting yourself into it. And you know, ever since I was a kid, I was always drawing, dancing, mm -hmm. singing every kind of style mm -hmm. and thing that I wanted mm -hmm. to. And I really have always loved that. So, you know, it's the fact that you can be creative and, and that's what helps get you out there because a lot of times, you know, artists just focus on the music, but when you are got your hands in every, every aspect, aspect of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, a, it's probably a dream for for a, a producer or management because usually uh, an artist is they just like, hi, I'm stuff. here, right, 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 <laughs> right for me, make, do everything for me, make no. me fabulous, right. but you do it all, so. No, I, I don't have to. If I have somebody that wants to do it for me, I actually get frustrated because, right. you know, you want I like creative. to be in control. When yeah. you want it done yeah. right, you gotta do it yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do have to say, though, I have a really great fan experience. Um, yeah. There's a family here in Miami that they're like a, a unit fan base. Um, their daughter plays the violin. And I did a show here in Miami pretty recently, and um, he came out with his wife. They made a whole night of it, posting on Facebook. We go dinner, and then we're going to the Amanda Patterson show. And um, oh, wow. he came with pictures printed out of me, and wanted all of them autographed, a little note to his daughter. And then about a week later, they posted a picture on Facebook. They framed all the pictures and put them up in their their house. Wow. And I just thought that was so cool. I posted that to my social media. That is wow, really that's cool. That's awesome. I, I hear a Canadian accent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I am from Ontario, Canada. Oh, okay. A little city called London. Um, but your background is, you were, had, were telling me where your family's from. Yes, my family's originally English and uh, Scottish, actually. Mm -hmm. My last name is Scottish. Mm -hmm. so. I don't know where I got Armenian from. <laughs> I was like, Armenian. <laughs> no. <laughs> my Keen Jazzy show, I had, I had a disguise, and I built an entire character ah. around this girl. I told you guys Albanian. When you Albanian! Oh, yes, <laughs> and yes. Like, okay. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I, I went very deep into that character. Yeah. I built an entire personality That's for her, awesome. a place where she's from. I even gave her a birthday. So. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> so what inspired you to be a singer? You know, I feel like it's just part of me. Um, I never really made the conscious decision. Um, when I was maybe yay tall, I uh, really wanted to be an opera singer. And I'd run around the house screaming my vocal cords as loud as I could. Um, ever since I was in, you know, kindergarten, mm -hmm. I was always part of little school mm -hmm. groups. Um, choirs, things like that, church choir. I was in the adult church choir at, in fifth grade. So, you know, it was just something that I always, always did. And um, I never really thought it had the, 
the support to pursue it professionally because there's so much competition yeah. uh, in this industry. And, Definitely. You know, I was just doing it for myself mm -hmm. until I had a company actually discover me um, on Facebook. I was just making little videos on my laptop for my my friends and family to see what I'm working on and and they contacted me and wanted to, to work with me so um, we put out two CDs together three years wow. worth of work lots of music videos on YouTube and um, really helped me grow a lot and now you know I'm branching out on my own and um, starting to, to release some new stuff so you know they really gave me the courage to, to take on mm -hmm. what I had because people always told me you're so talented but to have that courage to, right. to, to make it, you know, your your permanent goals is, right. is tough. It is tough. It's a tough decision. It's hard. It's mm -hmm. hard to make it on your own. So, What's been the, the most challenging part for you in the music industry? For me, actually, it's been the promotion. Um, mm. I'm not a big fan of social media, to be quite honest with you guys. Mm. I, I struggle. I have little alarms actually set on my phone to remind me to post sometimes. Wow. I just, I just forget. It'll go five, six days. I'm like, you know, I need to go see what's up with Facebook. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, you know, a lot of artists are really good about putting themselves out there and, you know, mm -hmm. posting, taking the selfies. And I just, mm -hmm. I'm so in the moment with people. I'm better at, you know, word of mouth, but that takes time. It doesn't yeah. really get it does. you very far. Whereas, yeah. you know, the internet is... Broad. Yeah. And it's just taken everybody. over all of marketing and yeah. advertising. Everything. And it's and it really every time I tell Barbara all the time, I'm like, I feel like it takes from my soul. Like it takes so much time <laughs> out of my, just it just uh I'm doing it all the time, but you have to. But I do feel like it takes a little bit from my soul. When we first when we first started doing <laughs> Say What TV, I was like, um, so you do the marketing <laughs> and I do the <laughs> Yeah, we're a good team. I wanna know if you can teach us some modeling tricks. Well, uh, one thing that you should always know as a model, you never want to be directly onto the camera. Um, if you are direct, your body just looks completely like it has no shape. You always want to take that, that slight Swirk. angle so you get your, your side profile, but okay. then you can also face straight on that so. way. There you go. Mm -hmm. Posture, shoulders, you always want to have them mm -hmm. <laughs> back as far as you can. I always feel like when you do photo shoots, they're like, turn your head to the left. And I'm like, like this? Put your chin down. Like this? Mm -hmm. this? It's so uncomfortable. Sometimes. It is not comfortable. No. Marling is not comfortable. No, 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 no. And no. you have to make it look like it. Like the, oh, yeah. They'll always we got to look so natural. You like you're, you're leaning into something and that you're just relaxed. But really, you're just flexing every, every single, single muscle, muscle in your body to keep yourself there. But then your face relaxes. <laughs> No, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. I'm <laughs> sitting on nothing, but it doesn't hurt. Can you take the picture? <laughs> take the picture. It's hard work. It is so hard work. now we know so much about you. We want more people to stalk you. So where can we all stalk you and all your new fans? Well, Facebook is just my name, Amanda Patterson. Um, every other social media is Amanda's Music. Everyone. Instagram, Twitter, Amanda's Music 91. Yep. No oh, there it is. No. Amanda's Music 91. 91. Right there. Get that follow button. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll get on it. We'll get on it. Oh, I have, I have definitely <laughs> grown tremendously with yeah. social media. My producer used to get on me yeah. all the time. Amanda, you do not post. You do not do this. And I, I'm much better. Good, good, good. But yeah, send me messages. I really do try and be in touch with my fans and, um, you know, communicative. And even people make requests sometimes because I do a lot of covers Stay on the piano. Me. So people oh, do you? Me How long have you been playing the piano? At least 14, 15 years. Mm -hmm. You play by ear? Like ah, yeah, depending. I, I do, I can read sheet music. I don't usually anymore. Because mm -hmm. I, I usually end up making it my own anyway. Right, right, right. I'll take right. the chords and then end up singing it like how I feel it, so. Awesome sauce. Sister Lou. Marvie G. Amanda Patterson. And you're watching. Say what? Yay! She got us! <laughs>